So I'm lying on my bed one night. And it was even. It was night time. In complete despair. And I just remember <clears throat> looking up to the ceiling. I'm lying on my bed. I'm looking up to the ceiling. <clears throat> my eyes are open. Looking directly at the ceiling. And I felt this nudge inside me to speak the following words. And I did. I spoke them out loud. And the words were these. I don't know who you are. I'm looking up now. I don't know who you are, where you are, what you are. I just need to know the truth, whatever that truth is. Because there was just so much despair. I, I thought I, I had truth all this time. I was teaching it. and this is, So I don't have the truth. So what is the truth? Who am I? And I was in despair. So, and I said, look, I don't know who you are, where you are, what you are. I just need to know the truth. And I need to know the truth now. And that's when it happened. That's when the miracle happened. Instantly. Not a second too early. Not a second too soon. Instantly. God knows if I'm lying about this. Instantly. The whole room lit up. It just lit up with this, 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 this illuminous light but it was a it was a light that was soft and comfortable it was the brightest light i had ever seen if you look up this at the sun directly it was brighter than that but it was a white light it was light it was illuminous and it was transparent but um the intensity of that light still it was so comfortable and so soft to the eyes it wasn't harsh to the to the eyes it was so comfortable and so soft to the eyes and i'm lying on that bed and when when this light came um i didn't know then what the light was i know now it was jesus and i'll tell you later how i know i'm, I'm lying on this bed and my eyes just naturally closed and i stayed in that in that position for it was almost like three hours and I found out later that was Jesus ministering to me, ministering to me, ministering to me. Notice though, I asked for truth. And Jesus came. And then I found a verse in the Bible where Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And no one gets to God the Father except through me. And then when I, because I was guided uh, to purchase the Holy Bible after, after that light incident. And I did. And the Bible arrived two weeks later. And I've, I've been reading the Holy Bible every single day ever since. I haven't missed a day. Or at least I have At least I don't think I've missed a day. And then I looked in the Bible and I found that ver verse. I am the way. I am the truth. And instantly that verse jumped out of me. The, 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 um, the uh, uh, Holy Spirit opened my eyes and brought that verse alive. It gave me revelation. Uh, that's how the Bible works. I am the truth. So that's when I knew. So that that light was Jesus Christ. That light was Jesus. Anyway, so that light uh, was there. And it was my eyes were closed for three hours of ministering to me, ministering to me, ministering to me. I, I felt a, a peace that I had never, ever, ever in my life experienced before. You know, you get all these new age teachings that say, you know, five steps to peace and do this practice and it's a peace teaching and do this meditation. And it's a peace teaching and do that. It's a peace teaching. It's all lies, lies, lies. It's all lies. It's all Satan's defiled counterfeit. So when I started reading the Holy Bible after when I had purchased it, I found another Bible verse that says that Jesus says, my peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. And then the Holy Spirit again, it brought that alive into my awareness it gave me revelation so that peace was jesus christ um, that peace was jesus christ so at the same time i felt this unconditional love that i had never ever ever felt before then i found the holy but the the word in the bible that says he who does not know god does not know love for god is love i was experiencing god i was experiencing the peace of jesus after three hours, when I had opened my eyes, I saw, I saw with my eyes that that light, it ascended, it went back to heaven, it went back to heaven, that light. But keep in mind that my surroundings still had a light that was never there before. But that intense light, it ascended uh, back to heaven. Notice that the peace that that light gave me uh, remained with me it stayed with me it was left with me and when i read my peace i give to you jesus says my peace i give to you my peace i leave with you he left that peace with me although the light ascended back to get to heaven he left that peace that peace with me so it's little things here and there where you say that's exactly what the bible says notice i experienced it before i had read it you see, before this time, I had never read the Holy Bible. 
I never liked people that read the Holy Bible. I never liked people that were into Jesus. I just thought they were brainwashed. And, and it just came upon me. And I opened my eyes after three hours of that ministering. And I saw that light it ascended back to heaven. But the peace and the love stayed with me. And I looked around and I noticed I'm a new person. Everything became... Hey, had clarity everything became clear that all that that new age stuff it became so clear so apparent that how deceived i was and there was no part of me that says i need to continue in this no part of me it was like these these things need to go now I remember on the side of my bed, I had the Ouija board, I had crystal ball, uh, uh, crystals, I had tarot cards. I just remember immediately, I got up from my bed in me, because I was, I, I was completely changed from the inside out. I got up from my bed immediately, I went to the kitchen, I grabbed a black rubbish bag, and I just started throwing these things in. I just knew they had to go. Why they had to go, I didn't know, because I hadn't read the Bible yet. Now I know. The Bible says in the Old Testament, do not have anything to do with mediums, for they will defy you. Stay away from uh, the d divination. This is all witchcraft, the Bible says. So although I was throwing these things away, this was this was the the the, the spirit of God uh, was was. I I just knew inside me that these things had to go because they had. I, I didn't know that they were connected to witchcraft. I didn't know they were connected to demons. I didn't know God was against them. I didn't know the light that came was Jesus. I didn't know who God was. I didn't know nothing about the Holy Spirit. I knew nothing, nothing, nothing. I just knew there's something deep inside me that is strongly convicting me to just throw these things away. I didn't know why. I'm, I feel like I've, the tarot cards. There was even a statue of Archangel Michael. That was gone. I didn't know why. After the Bible arrived two weeks later, then I knew and then things started to make sense. So sometimes in your life, when the Holy Spirit is telling you to do something, just do it. Even if it doesn't make sense, it will make sense later. Jesus says, you do not know now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. So then when the Bible arrived two weeks later, I had ordered it from Amazon. Then I started to find, uh, uh, to read why I had to get rid of those tarot cards. The Bible speaks against divination, against mediums, against fortune telling, against um, uh, sorcery, against these things. And I thought that's why they had to, they had to go. Then I look at the crystals. You say crystal is just something pretty. It's not the crystal. The crystal itself has no power. It's the force operating in the crystal. You see, demons can, as they can operate through people, they can also operate through things, causing you to create that thing into an idol. The Bible says no idol. So you think that crystal now is what's going to give you confidence that crystal is what's going to give you power that crystal is what's going to uh, uh, um, uh, unblock your chakras and so on and so forth so you're actually believing the allies of the devil that the the the, the 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 force that is operating through that uh, object which makes that uh, which makes that object object sorcery the bible speaks against sorcery and then i remember throwing away the the statue of archangel michael and i'm thinking well, why would god want me to throw away the statue of archangel michael and then i found in the bible do not make any graven images do not make any statues of anything in the earth uh, in the heavens on the earth below the earth everything started to fall into into a uh, place and so on and so forth after reading the part where it says that jesus my peace i live with you i said ah oh, so that that's when i started to realize so that was jesus and then i read in the bible jesus says i am the light and that's when i knew that light was jesus that's when i knew that's when i knew